Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In discrete mathematics, let us discuss about fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In mathematics, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, also called the unique factorization theorem and prime factorization theorem, states that every integer greater than 1 can be represented unequally as a product of prime numbers up to the order of the factors. Here, look at this. For example, 1092 in 3 factorization divided by 2 is given as 546. That is divided by 3 is 182. That divided by 2 is 91. That divided by 2 is 13 and 7. So, here the prime factors are 2, 3, 7 and 13. For one more example, look at here. 1512. For example, we are taking 1512 divided by 2. The prime factorization will do this way also. Is 7 2s are 14 and 11, 5 2s are 10 and 6. And further, is 2 is 3 2s are 6, 1 carries 15, 7 is 14, 8. Then here, then uh, further 2 is 370, 8 is 189, then 3, divided by 3 is 60, 3, divided by 3 is 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, these are prime numbers. 2, 2, 2. Therefore, 1, 5, 1, 2 can be written as in terms of prime factors. 2 is repeated 3 times and 3 is repeated 3 times and 7. Here, this, for example, 1512 is expressed in terms of the product of prime numbers. That is, product of prime numbers are 2, 3, 7. Therefore, prime factors those are 2, 3 and 7 here. Even it is repeating or writing one time, that is the prime factors of this Composite number is 2, 3, 7. Now, order of integers. Here, order of integers on left side of the number line is smaller than 0 and the order of integers on the right side of the number line is greater than 0. The more the integer is negative, the more its value is smaller. The more the integer is positive, the more its value is greater. Look at here, this number line, center is 0. This is positive side going larger and larger. And here going left, it becomes the numbers are smaller and smaller. Here, this is the order of integers. Here, observe that we define order of z in terms of the positive integers n. All the usual properties of this order relation are a consequence of the following two properties. That is, if a and b belong to n, then a plus b if a and b belong to natural number, then a plus b is belong to n and a into b also belong to n. Here order for suppose if a is greater than b which means b is lesser than a. Same a is 
lesser of equal to b which means a is lesser b or a is equal to b A is equal to B. Now, inequality in integers. What is inequality? Inequality means not equal. Generally, if two values are not equal, we use the not equal symbol like. But to compare the values, whether it is less than or greater than, different equalities are used. Here, less than symbol is like greater than symbol is like not equal is and less than or equal greater than or equal now equality or consider two numbers two and five so we can write this as two is lesser than five or 5 is greater than 2 or you can say 5 is not equal to 2 and 2 is not equal to 2. So it's called inequality in integers. You can check any two numbers which related it is inequality relations. Here, absolute value of integers. The absolute value of any integer, whether positive or negative, will be the real numbers, regardless of which sign it has. It is represented by two vertical lines like A, modulus of A, or absolute value of A, which is known as the modulus of, modulus of A. For example, phi is absolute value for both phi and minus phi. Look at here. In a number line, this is a positive side, negative side. The absolute value means the width. Suppose phi have phi spaces, equal spaces together. Even this minus phi also phi, even its negative side, but having spaces, phi equal spaces. That means we can write absolute value of phi can be have minus phi, it can have positive phi. Even absolute value of minus phi is equal is equal phi. That means even negative or positive, the value have that sorry here. Absolute value of y is y and negative phi also phi. Before that, we will discuss further about the relations, equality relations in integers. Look at here, A, A, suppose A is lesser or equal to A, which means, which means, for any digit a equal to a, a equal to a one because if a is lesser or equal to a, both are same integer means only this a equal to a. Now, if a is lesser or equal to b, another integer, and 
B is less than or equal to A, then we can say only possible value is A equal to B. A is less than or equal to B. At same time, B is not less than or equal to A. Maybe it is B is equal to A. Therefore, A less than or equal to B, B less than or equal to A, then you can say A equal to B. One more. A less than or equal to B, A less than or equal to B, and B lesser or equal to another number C, then you can say A is lesser or equal to C. Suppose for example, phi is lesser or equal to 3 and 3 is lesser or equal to 2. Here only possibly is 3 is Here you can use it. Suppose C is 8. Phi is. Sorry, here. Phi is lesser or equal to 7, and 7 is lesser or equal to 8. Then you can say. That is A5 is lesser or equal to 8. This 5 and 8 here. Now, next one, of the little you we discussed. Then, trichotomy law. When we have two natural numbers, A and B, then only one of the following possibilities can be true. Suppose you consider true number, it may equal or first number is greater than second number or first number is lesser than second number. Here, for any integers A, B and C, you are having the relation maybe A is lesser or equal to B and and let and let C and let and let C be an integer. C be an integer. Then you can say suppose adding a plus b is lesser or equal to b plus c means already a is lesser than b so if you add if you add c integer c for both side then a plus c is lesser or equal to b plus c similarly a c is lesser or equal to BC when C is greater than 0, but AC is lesser or equal to BC when C is, C is lesser than 0. So far we discussed about some properties of uh, that is fundamental theorem of arithmetics and order of integer, inequality in integers and absolute reality of integers, then trichotomy law of integers. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.